Um, first things first, Ryan, let's just have a look at that ear. How is it feeling? Yeah, it's all right. Um, it's obviously painful to touch, painful to lie on. Um, didn't get much sleep in the last few days, but it is what it is. It's all part and parcel of the game. Come on. Didn't do you much harm also on the day, did it? It's, it's weird. You th- kind of think bang to the head could be a bit sore, but you came out and bag a couple of goals. Yeah, I think um, it was more the adrenaline that got through <laughs> through the rest of the game. Every time I went to head the ball, the, the bandage went up in the air and looked a bit worse than me, but I just had to keep pulling it down and... Uh, Get on with it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, what did you call yourself afterwards? Like a peacock uh, style? It was like, um, my hair was like a peacock. I think I looked like the guy at the Goonies. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember his name, but nah, um, it was uh, all about getting back out and uh, as quick as I could and helping the boys again. I've noticed something in the last couple of, well, definitely the last couple of games is the, is the chop before the finish. Is that, is that something you have been working on? It's it, As I said to my... I've spoken to my dad and that a few times over the last f- few weeks. Um, I f- feel like that's my old self. Like, when I was playing my best football is when I was confident in front of goal and I was, it was able to do that and make, make the chances easier for myself. Um, last season, it wasn't quite there for some for some reason, maybe confidence. Um, but uh, this season, it's back. So, hopefully, it can keep going. I think Jordan Houghton said after that game, he hopes teams don't cotton on to the fact you've got the chop in you. You might have to do a double chop to get past the second one. Well, the Wimbledon game, it was a double chop, I suppose. So, well, if, if it comes to that, I'll just if they, if they cotton on to the chop, we'll just pass it in. It'll be an easier finish for me. I only do that because they keep on arrows angle quite well eh? and it makes the finish easier if I do chop inside but if it, if it gives me a gap then I'll just pass it in it's a bit easier You mentioned the, the kind of change from last year to this year and what it could be a very you know, variety of things fans being back in confidence yeah. I, I, is it easy to kind of pinpoint exactly what it is or is it it just is a new season new start well it's not it's not easy at all um, as you say there are the fans are a massive thing um, last season you'd score and it wasn't very the same celebrating you'd run back and high five your mates whereas like in the last few games mm. you score and you can run into the fans it's it's such a better feeling um, and it makes the goals feel a lot more worthwhile a lot more special so I'm not saying that I never scored last year because I didn't want to there was no fans there but this year it certainly does help um, and it's such a better feeling when you're scoring in front of all the fans You've got eight and ten. Uh, Jeps has four, I think, or maybe five. So there's a lot of goals between the two of you there, and I know you get on well off the pitch. But what's it like playing playing with Luke? Yeah, this season especially, we've had more of a um, a bit more freedom where Luke can come into feet and receive the ball a bit easier, and then that leaves more room. If um, one of the defenders follows him out, I'll always go in the space behind him, and I think that's what the gaffers gave us more this year. He's gave us a bit more freedom for him to do that and then for me to stretch it more. Where I can come into feet, sometimes Jeff's just claiming that he's a bit faster this year, so I don't know if you're noticing it, but um, he's certainly claiming to be a bit faster, so um, nah, well, we can mix up the shifts, but I'm more running in behind. Do you think he's faster? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> he's, he's only saying that because his FIFA card's a bit faster. Um, <laughs> But uh, nah, he is. He's looking a lot sharper. Don't get me wrong. He is. He's, he started the season really well, and um, long may it continue. Does it help that you do have such a good relationship off the pitch as well? Yeah, I think it's massively important um, because we know each other's inside out. We know each other's personalities. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses in the game, um, on and off the park, I suppose. Um, so no, it does massively help with good mates off the pitch, as you say. We do a few activities outside football. Um, together and uh, on the pitch we're always laughing and joking each other. It's important to have a relationship because whereas when I've no slipped them in for the one against um who was it at home? Um Fleetwood. It could have been Fleetwood or no it was Sheffield Wednesday. I should have slipped them in after I've took it around the oh, the yeah. keeper but um whereas that could have caused a bit of friction between a few people but kinda you kinda really get angry at me. He started laughing after a few times that he'd been getting at me so now it's important um, that we always we always do want the best for each other. We'll get angry with each other, but after that you forget about it and you move on. Um, I saw we're going away from Jeps, I suppose, who's like a second part of your family to your actual family. Yeah. I saw um, a post put on Instagram of your of your, your young lad yeah. uh, in his Argyle kit, future Argyle player potentially. How important is it to you that you know your family, because it's a young family, is kind of good and happy and settled with with where you are at the moment? Down in Plymouth. That's massively important. I think that might be also a factor to last season as well. We're just new parents. We've all we've both moved down here away for away for the family. Um, that could be a big factor as well. It's to me if they're happy, then I'm happy. Um, and Chloe loves it. 
Arthur loves it. He come into the game, and I think Chloe shows me the videos. And when the crowd start clapping, he's up and he's just learned to start clapping from <laughs> that. So it's um, it's such a good feeling. And then when I brought him to the uh, to the pitch on Sunday after the game um, to see him, his face is happy. He must it must click in his head that that's what Daddy does. So he's walking on the pitch and he's just smiling and so happy. To get that photo was massive. Um, mm. It's such a good feeling having him there. Have you put a ball at his feet yet? I have, as soon as he started walking, like he was only walking, say, a week or so, still unsteady in his feet, and I've got a wee soft ball. Uh, I put it in the kitchen floor, and he knew what to do straight away. He's just running and kicking it, and every time he kicks it, he starts laughing. So it's such a it's such a good feeling for me being a parent, and uh, to, but for both of us, for me and Chloe, to see it, it's just uh, it's, it's a very good feeling. Yeah, it must, as you said, a smile on your face now, playing well, but also home life being good just must be a huge a huge thing. Yeah, it is, and um, obviously when I came down here, I thought it was important that I got a nice house so that if I did have visitors, they could all come and visit, and I think since the start of the season, we've not had one weekend to ourselves. Um, I think there's been Chloe's mum, my mum, mm. my dad, my granny, my granda, Chloe's dad. I think everybody's... Um, Using it as a holiday, I suppose, because Plymouth's such a nice place to come to. Everybody's seen it as holidays, and uh, now long may everybody keep coming down. Has he tried pulling out any of the stitches yet? Arthur? No, he's he's hit it accidentally because I always carry him on my left side, so he's usually he's always up to carry on. He does it. He just throws his head at you. Mm. He, he doesn't know he's doing any harm, but he has hit it once. And uh, as soon as he did that, I put him straight to his mum. <laughs> uh, just finally on that injury if you score again on the weekend and then bag a couple more is the, is the headband going to stay do you think so, uh, you never know I am quite a superstitious person so the boots I've had on has got the toe missing at them I've got to have to start gluing them, <laughs> gluing them together because I keep scoring I'm going to have to keep wearing them so you could say if, that, if I wear it on Saturday if I need to wear it on Saturday and I score well it will be staying on <laughs>